Chapter 1, Lesson 5, Graph Ratio Tables. Today you will be able to graph ordered pairs in ratio tables to solve problems. You can use an ordered pair to name any point on the coordinate plane. The first number in an ordered pair is the x-coordinate. The second number is the y-coordinate. I can remember this because it goes alphabetically, x before y. You can express the information in a table as a set of ordered pairs. To see patterns, graph the ordered pairs on the coordinate plane. So in this example, 3 is our x-coordinate and 6 is our y-coordinate. Letter A. The table shows the cost in dollars to create CDs of digital photos at the Photoshop. The table also shows this, this information as ordered pairs. Number of CDs, cost in dollars. First, we're going to graph the ordered pairs. Well, we need some labels. The label I would, the title I would give is the same title as, it's in, as in the chart, cost to create CDs. There's our title. The X is always the horizontal or bottom axis, and X right here is number of CDs. So we'll label this number of CDs. And on the right here would be cost in dollars, or on the left I should say, cost in dollars, this is our y-axis, and actually I'm going to put x here so we know it's our x-axis. And over here is going to be cost in dollars, comma, y. We'll write that sideways. Great. Our labels can always come from the table. Now we need to label our numbers. I would say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and mark it on the line, not in the boxes. And over here I need to go from 3 to 9, which it looks like I can count by once. Again, writing on the lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I'll just go up to 10 here. Ten. Now it's a matter of plotting the points. The x is 1, well this is x, and this is y. The x is 1, so here's x is 1. The y is 3. Go up and plot a point. Then we do it again. X is 2, Y is 6. 2, 6. And plot a point. Last one, X is 3, Y is 9. Go to X is 3, and Y is 9. And again, plot a point. So here we have three points plotted and labels. Describe the pattern in the graph. Points appear in a line, and let's actually make this a little smaller. The points appear in a line. The cost to create CDs Oopsie. Increases three dollars for every CD. We'll put our answer in red. Ooh. 
Letter B. The table shows Gloria's earnings for one, two, and three hours. The table also lists this information as ordered pairs, hours, comma, earnings. So again, let's title our graph Gloria's earnings. And we'll make this a little smaller. Perfect. Our x-axis, or the horizontal one, is hours. And our vertical axis, or y, is dollars earned. And we'll rotate this one. And make it a little smaller. Great. Now we have our titles. We need to label. Our hours go 1, 2, and 3. We have plenty of room there. Again, writing them on the lines. 1, 2, 3. And I still go up to 5 just to fill my graph a little bit. This time we need to go all the way up to 15. I only have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lines. So I'm going to have to count by twos. Again, writing on the lines. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Now we can plot our points. X is always first. Our first X is 1, and our first Y is 5. So again, here's our X axis, and this is our Y axis. 1, 5. Now 5 is in between 4 and 6, so somewhere in the middle, draw a point. Our next ordered pair is 2, comma, 10. Our X is 2. Our y is 10, which this one is right on the line. Lastly, our ordered pair is 3, comma, 15. Hours 3, dollars earned 15. Again, we're in between 14 and 16, so draw a point right in the middle. Describe the pattern in the graph. Again, the points appear in a line. And I can say that Gloria's earnings increase $5 every hour. Comparing ratios. You can use tables and graphs to compare ratios. The greater the ratio, the steeper the line will appear. Two friends are making scrapbooks. Renee places four photos on each page of her scrapbook. Gina places six photos on each page of her scrapbook. Make a table for each scrapbook that shows the total number of photos placed if each book has, has one, two, or three, three or four pages. List information as ordered pairs, pages, comma, photos. So here we go. Renee. Now it says right here that Renee places four photos on each page. So if she has one page, she has a total of four photos. To write it as an ordered pair, one, comma, four. And you must make sure you have parentheses. If she has two pages, well, she would have a total of eight photos. Four on the first page, four on the second page, making a total of eight photos. To write it as an ordered pair, it would be our pages, comma, photos. Three pages would be 12 photos. Our ordered pair, 3, comma, 12. You should be seeing a pattern 
in our photos. 4, 8, 12. So for four photos, or four pages, excuse me, it would be 16 photos. Our ordered pair, 4, 16. Now let's do Gina's scrapbook. Gina places six photos on each page. So again, we're going to do one, two, three, and four pages. On one page, she has six photos. Our ordered pair, one comma six, and again, making sure we have them in parentheses. If there's, for two pages, there's six on one page, six on page two, that would make a total of 12 photos. Two comma 12 would be our ordered pair. Three pages would be 18. Again, you should be seeing a pattern with our photos. Our ordered pair is 3, 18. And then 6, 12, 18, 24. Our ordered pair being 4, 24. Now I wrote these in two different colors on purpose. The reason is because on the next part, part B, we are going to graph them on the same grid. So here we go. We need to put a title. Now we have two different tables, so I'm going to combine them into one title. Renee and Gina's scrapbooks. I'm making our title a little smaller here. Great. Now, the X or the bottom are pages. And the Y axis is going to be photos. Now our pages, one, two, three, four, we can still count by ones. I'll actually do this in red. One, two, three, four, five. Again, writing on the lines, not the boxes. Now again, we have ten blocks up. However, our biggest number, we have sixteen, but we also have twenty-four. Go by the biggest number. We need to go from 1 to 24. We can't count by 2's, that would only bring us up to 20. So let's count by 3's. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. It's okay to go past the numbers you need. Our first, let's do Renee's first. In Renee I used purple. We're going to graph our x coordinate of 1 and our y coordinate of 4. So 1. Now here I go from 3 to 6 which means 4 and 5 are both in here. So I would say that 4 is probably about here. Our next one is 2 comma 8, so 2, I would say 8 is about here. Our next for Renee's is 3 comma 12, 3, oh, 12, nice and easy for 12, ended up right on the line. And 4 is 16, here's 15, I would say 16 is about here. So that is Gina's. Or, I'm sorry, that is Renee's. Renee's purple. Now for Gina's in green. 1, 6 is the first set of coordinates. 1, 6. Our next set is 2, 12. Our third set is 3, 18. And our fourth set is 4, 24. Make sure you use two colors on your paper. If you wanted to 
graph them in pencil and then highlight them different with different colored highlighters, that would be perfectly fine as well. Now to letter C. How does the ratio of photos to each page compare for each person? And how is this shown in the graph? So let's look at these ratios. Purple, which is Renee, it looks like four photos on one page. So our ratio would be four to one, whereas Gina's ratio would be six to one. So let's jot that down. The ratio of photos to pages for Renee's scrapbook is four to one. And bear with me, I'm going to make this a little smaller. There we go. Expand it out a little. There we go. And for Gina's is six to one. So those are the ratios. And then how is this shown in the graph? Well, first we can say that both sets of points appear to be in a line. But look at Gina's. Gina's is steeper. And this means she has a greater ratio. So the ratio of photos to pages Photos to pages for Renee's scrapbook is 4 to 1, and for Gina's is 6 to 1. Both sets of points appear to be in a line, but Gina's is steeper, which means she has a greater ratio.